All right, what is going on, guys? Paul wanted today. We are back with another, for the third time, competitive team DLC camo nuclear gameplay. This time with the Phase Clan DLC camo, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I said in the other previous competitive DLC camo nuclear gameplays that they could have done better with it. I think I don't know. It just seems a little awkward with the placement of the logo. I feel if they made small little Phase Clan logos and scattered them in different directions all across the entire weapon, I think that would be sweet. But it is what it is, and this is what we got. But it's pretty. Sweet guys, honestly, it, it's awesome to see the FaZe Clan logo actually in a Call of Duty game for the first time, and it's just, I think it's really cool, and I think FaZe Clan's probably super proud of that as well, so props to FaZe Clan and Temper and everybody there. Um, but yeah, the camo looks, it looks pretty sweet, and it, I think more of it is just how cool, like I said, it is to actually see the logo in a game on a camo, like actually there, with a calling card as well. Uh, so yeah, the gameplay is by Carnage Frizz Eyes. if you want to check out his channel, his link will be right at the top of the description below, make sure to check him out, and also, if you're new to Carnage Clan, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around for more content. Then we can shoot for a thousand likes for the FaZe Clan DLC Camo Nuclear. That would be awesome, guys. And uh, yeah, I want to know if you guys, and I want to know if you have any of these camos, if you managed to pick any of them up. I know, unfortunately, they're not available in supply drops, at least for now. From what I understand, you have to actually buy all of them, and there's no chance of actually getting them in supply drops. But that's, that's, it is what it is, and you know, that's, that's the way they decided to do it. So, uh, for the people that really support these teams, I'm sure they're buying their actual uh their camos and the the uh, calling cards and all that kind of stuff because it is kind of cool to see that and rep those teams especially during cod champs i'm sure everybody during cod champs is going to be repping the calling card of the team they support and the team they want to see win um because it is a, a big big year for competitive i believe the prize pool is at like two million dollars which is just incredible it's the biggest prize pot ever in call of duty history so it is a big year uh and i'm sure a lot of people are going to be really really pumped about this and hyped about it uh so a lot of people are probably going to be repping their team and now they can actually do it not just through the clan tags but actually like on their weapon uh and also uh in their calling cards so that's pretty cool so uh i think that's why they did it i think that that's one of the bigger reasons they're kind of like they're moving more towards community integration which is really cool to see and props to Treyarch for implementing that into black ops 3 so that's pretty much it guys hopefully you enjoyed today's gameplay once again check out carnage frizz eyes channel if you want to check him out his link will be right at the top of the description below subscribe to carnage clan if you guys are new and if you made it to this point in the video comment down below saying hashtag phase up oh yeah and i'll talk to you guys later